Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to fix a failed test in Azure Pipeline with Azure DevOps. Let me just log on to Azure DevOps portal and take it from there. First of all, I'm going to fetch the branch from the GitHub. So git, I'm using the fetch method, upstream, failed test. Okay, I'm going to get check out the branch would be fail test. Failed test. Nice though. I'm in failed test branch as of now and if you would see i have not made any changes we have named the branch failed test now we'll run the following command to add an empty entry to the commit history this command would be git commit oh empty minus m trigger azure pipelines nice so what it has done it it has run the following git command to add an empty entry when you fork the repository from the microsoft account into our github account you fork already came with the failed test branch so if you would be doing this, you would have the same thing. Now we'll run the git push command to upload the branch to the GitHub repository. So it would be git push origin and the name would be fail test. Now if you will go to the Azure pipeline, you will see the test failure. It is running the npm install, compile, run gulp task, write build info, unit test, create code coverage. Let's see how it goes. And according to this, this method would fail. The test would pass when the input value is 0, but it will fail when the input value is 1 or 10. So let's let's wait for this to happen. You see we have a cross sign here. It failed. Now when the build will be complete, you will not, we will not get the artifact button. So the build is always published to the pipeline when the previous task would succeed. As our build is failed, uh, uh, sorry, the build was not published because the unit test was failed. So this would prevent other from accidentally obtaining a broken build. So if the, if someone pushes out a wrong wrong code or made a wrong entry in the code, the adding the unit test would not happen and the build would not be ready with the failed changes and Azure DevOps would send an email notification to me uh, on my registered ID with which I am logged in it would uh, show me the error list the error that I am getting because of the build failure and if you want to fix it reproduce the failure locally run the build locally uh, like using the dotnet build configuration release and the dotnet test no build configuration you will see the errors notice the error because it would be 0 not 10 or 9 fix the error fix the code and the document wherein you are getting the errors save the file again run the build locally using the dotnet test build no build release configuration and the dotnet uh, build 
when this would be done commit the change add the changes commit the changes uh, using git push command and then see the build run and after that you if you are satisfied you can create a pull request to merge the changes in the master branch and uh, also do not forget to clean your uh, uh, devops environment so if you would go to the boots here it is and it, you would move it to here because this is done it will change from doing to done you can disable the pipeline or delete the project if you want to disable the pipeline go into the pipelines you can click on here you can you can disable click on save your pipeline is disabled or paused you can do anything and if you would want to delete the project you see the project settings here click on project settings and if you will scroll it down you can click on delete the project type in the name or copy paste it click on delete the project is done and that completed uh, our video as well so i'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned have a good day ahead bye bye